beautiful people. Good morning, <laughs> Just kidding. Kidding. You can see the darkness it's outside. It's definitely nighttime right now. Our Christmas tree is shining. Honey's head is in the way, so I do apologize. But it was a very exciting weekend because we actually hosted our very first cocaine car meet along with tire choice. So the car meet was actually our tire choice and it was honestly really, really fun. Honey, your head is just like legit right there. Can you move this way a little bit if you want to be in it more? See, there you go. That's much better. But yeah, it was so fun. It was on Sunday. It went from 12 to 4 p.m. and we, I don't think we ended up vlogging, but we will insert a bit of footage after I finish talking to you guys. But thank you to everybody that came down. Big thank you to Peter Trent if you're watching this. He was our first customer at 12 o'clock on the dot. Always showing so much love. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the B-roll footage that Hal took. There was so many people that came, so it was crazy. I honestly didn't expect a car meet, car meet to be like that. Do you have anything to say about the car meet? Do you think a comment was supposed to be? I don't know. I had no idea what I was expecting, but there was blossom trees and everything. It was crazy. Anyways, enjoy this B-roll footage. In three, two, one. was a little recap of what happened at the car meet honestly looked so good big shout out to everyone that like came as I said now as you guys know it has been a Black Friday weekend sale madness cyber Monday all of that stuff so it's been a little bit crazy haven't even gotten to show you guys what we've been doing haven't even showed you us packing orders because we've just been doing that for the last what four days now which is insane however my Black Friday purchase let me show you what I bought so I only bought one thing and it was kind of an impulse buy, but this is the brand that I bought from. It's just called Zep, which is Chloe Zipanowski. Zipanowski. She's actually just an influencer and she has her, has her own like gym kind of website. I don't know, but I hear these shorts are really, really good and comfortable. So I bought myself a pair and I got, I think, 20 or 30% off. And can I just say, it came so fast. I ordered on Friday and it came on Monday via Australia Post, which is pretty crazy. So that's a big positive. I'm so amazed that they shipped everything out so fast. Shipping, like the packaging wasn't as cute as I wanted it to be. It just literally came in this. There was no thank you card, no invoice, no nothing. There was not even any tags, but these are the shorts. So I just got their really popular level shorts in a black and I got a size six slash extra small they're actually genuinely so soft and like buttery feeling I wasn't expecting this at all you guys saw I purchased the mr. Winston hoodie in our previous video and I was highly disappointed by the quality but I gotta say these ones are very good it's got like a vinyl print on the side I'm not sure how long this is gonna last so we will see but it seems like it will last quite a while although I do wash my clothes pretty bad but yes, I really do like these. I tried them on. They fit really good. I'm surprised the band here. I didn't realize it was going to be so like high-waisted, but it kind of sucks the top of you in. Not like there's much to suck in for me because I'm so bloody skinny. But yeah, this is all I bought for Black Friday and it came so fast. Good morning. Welcome back to another video of Honey of When How Buys Dumb Shit. Episode 5666.9. Black box, ready? One, two, three. Keycaps. 
They are blossomed keycaps, as you guys can see right here. And Honey just got off the freaking chair, so that's why it moved. But these are just uh, cute little keycaps that I wanted to change my keyboard to see. This is a actual thing that I'm looking to make for our brand. Um, and this was just a sample that I wanted to see what the packaging looked like, what, like, everything like everything i just wanted to see how they structured like how a good one's supposed to feel like because i i personally don't change my keycaps i buy my keyboards and i i currently use a razor tournament elite huntsman i think 60 percent with red cherries on it and i like the clicky i like i play a lot of games um and i strictly just use that computer just for gaming and yeah so i just built it to play with cod cs Halo, it's a whole bunch of other games that I play. But, this was it, and, oh, Philly's gonna show you guys. Can we just turn this around? We'll turn it around, so it's just, let's turn it around and let Philly show you guys what she purchased. This is also what I got. I actually didn't purchase these. How got these for me and they got delivered I think last Friday. These are are they called SB Dunk Lows or just Dunk Lows? I always get confused. SB Dunk Lows. SB Dunk Lows. I got it right the first time. Shouldn't have doubted myself, but these are just the triple white ones. I honestly love my black black and white panda ones. They're just so comfortable. As I know, I'm sure everybody knows by now. I love my flat fit flat footed shoes like my vans and the SB Dunk Lows are just so perfect. Also I love my blue ones as well. I'm starting to wear them in so they're getting more comfortable so I cannot wait to rock these ones. However, I do wear Air Force Ones. Now these ones are a lot flatter and a bit slimmer, not as chunky as Air Force Ones, but my Air Force Ones get dirty so, so, so fast. Like that's why Hal always has so many brand new pairs so once it gets dirty and just like the tiniest bit like dusty he'll just wear a new pair because once they get dirty it just looks really really bad like i don't know it's just it's just not it so i'm gonna try keep these as clean as possible but now both how and i have so many twinning shoes i feel like we need to take more twinning photos together in our matching shoes but the reason why i wanted to show you guys in this video is something that i am now doing i actually have been doing this for the last I would say two weeks and it is a custom Spotify code sweatshirt. So if you do follow me on my personal Instagram or even my Central Pieces business Instagram page, you probably would have already seen this, but this is a custom um, Spotify code as I just mentioned. And what you can do is you can take a photo of it via the Spotify code app or like in the search bar, there's like a photo section in the top right hand corner scan this right here and it will go to your favorite song your favorite artist your favorite album playlist or whatnot so let me show you guys an example so once you go into spotify right here if you go into the search section oops if you press search down at the bottom and at the top you will find a camera button once you click this camera button it will show this screen and now look what it does to the jumper dun, 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 dun. you guys know Big Sean is my favorite. Actually, I don't know if anyone knows, but anyways, Big Sean and Justin Bieber are one of my top favorite artists. So of course I had Big Sean on my own custom sweater. So what I've been doing is people can purchase a sand or navy sweater. They give me the Spotify link or their favorite song playlist or whatever. I will turn it into an embroidery file, embroider it, and then they can have their own sweater. There's a couple funny ones that I did recently I think one of them was um, Rick Ashley's. Oh, I forgot what the song was, but it was so funny when I was doing it. I couldn't stop laughing. But yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I think it's a really, really cute like Christmas personalized birthday gift. It's very thoughtful and like it shows that you kind of know the person. So this is now up on my website and also my Etsy account. Also, I never mentioned this in the previous video, but last week had to be... Not the worst week ever, but it was a little bit upsetting and annoying because you guys know 
I have been selling on Etsy this last year. So I started in February and I was honestly getting great sales on my Etsy account. Like personalization was doing really well. I was doing all these custom Roman numeral hoodies and was getting more traffic to the Central Pieces website, my Instagram and all that. And then I no longer have that account anymore. I have to literally start all over again. I had to make a new account. So I'm super, super sad. And what happens on Etsy as well, it shows like the number of sales you've had and the number of reviews you have, like five star reviews. And that's something that is really, really good to have on your account because it shows that you're a trusted seller. Because if someone has a lot more reviews and it has a lot more sales, you know that they're not really scamming you or anything. So that means I have to start that all over again. And now my new shop is called EP Shop AU. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but this is my new store. And I don't know if you can see there, but it's got stars. And usually the stars, if you have any star reviews, it goes black. Mine is none because I've had no reviews, which I'm so sad about, but I am thankful because I've had 29 sales so far, even though I only started a week ago, which to me, it's a lot, but also not a lot in the sense of versus my old Etsy account. But I'm still very, very happy I am getting sales because I was very, very worried. So I've had to start all over again. I'm like doing the whole system again, but hopefully it's going. So at the moment, I've just got soju earrings. I've got my custom Roman numeral hoodies. I've got the Spotify sweater, which I just showed you. Custom tote bags, drip um, I've got this strip one, which I don't think I've showed you guys before, but this is a drip smiley face sweater, which comes in navy and in beige. And I've got this one right here, which I think is very, very cute, but it doesn't really cater to everyone. It's just a custom wifey sweater and you can choose whatever year you became a wife. So this one is 2020. Oh, geez. What is happening with the lighting right now? But yeah, I've literally had to start all over again and I've only got a couple of items. So I've been spending a lot more time trying to fix that up. And now I want to try and make this account more aesthetic as well. Even though my last one wasn't bad, but I just want to make it more aesthetic and a little bit cleaner. And yeah, so that's what's been going on in the past week. Little update on my keyboard, as you guys can see. Um, now I can finally tell you guys what it is. It is a, uh, yeah, Raz Razer Huntman Tournament Edition. Right, so, 60% uh, keyboard, as you guys can see, uh, that means it's 60% of a normal keyboard, so there's no other. But, installed all the caps. What do you guys reckon? I really like it. It just gives it a different vibe, and like, the only keys that I always really use are these. Do you know what? Every time I go shopping for like computer parts or whatever, Philly loves going to the keyboard section and just doing this. All she does, she goes there just to play with keyboards and smash keyboards. Isn't that right, Mr. Biggs? Is that, high five. Good boy, good boy. All right, time to move on. Just another day, how just watering his grass. But guys, can you see? We actually have real grass for Honey and Biggie now and it fits perfectly in here, it's so good. However, we have to water it constantly every single morning. So he's testing out a new system where he has a hose running from our kitchen sink outside. We actually haven't mentioned anything on our channel, but we have a new summer collection launching tomorrow, which will be December 2nd. Oh my God, today is December 1st, Biggie. Guess what? They get to start their advent calendar. Oh, we yeah, didn't even yeah. get one for ourselves yet. We got the advent, so I'm so excited. December 1st, this year, last year, this time last year, I was actually going to do, I was doing Vlogmas, so I was uploading every single day. This year, definitely not gonna happen because I can barely even keep up uploading two times a week. But we're gonna show you guys a little bit of our new summer collection that is coming out tomorrow on December 2nd at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Time, whatever Melbourne time is, technically. So the first thing that we have is the female, we've got a pair of female embroidered track shorts. So these are the ones that I have been recently wearing. It's just got the embroidered cocaine logo on the side right here. We've got some drawstrings and some side pockets on either side. If you guys followed our previous samples about like the whole uh, bike short saga, that's not happening this summer, unfortunately. So I've had to go with these ones because the bike shorts were a whole nother issue. 
For the female stuff as well, we also have a crop t-shirt. I just love my crop t-shirts, especially in summer, so I always like to create things that I personally wear. So we've just got this one, and I like the design because it's simple. We've never done a left side logo chest, so this is the first one ever. And it's also got the logo at the back, which I really, really like. So this one here, I'm pretty sure it's $40. The shorts are $50. We also have a crop sweater to match with the shorts. It's the same material and this is also embroidered, embroidered right in the center. And yeah, it just looks like so. All black, of course, because you know, cocaine is just a lot of black clothing. And since it is summer, we have just pretty much a lot of t-shirts to come out because that's pretty much all we wear in summer is just t-shirts and shorts. And as Hao has mentioned before, he doesn't like designing for summer because he just doesn't know what to design because it's just you're very limited with the things you can just do maybe a few cool t-shirt designs a couple of like bike shorts basketball shorts like loose shorts but not much else really because it's kind of hard to wear hoodies and like just thick garments in summer so we have these two t-shirts coming out sorry this one style t-shirt it's just the vending machine t-shirt right here I really really like this one the detail here if you look closely in the vending machine it's got like little cocaine things if you guys can see it up closely I personally would prefer or I, I personally like my, my Philly's choice is the white one right here I don't know this is just a really cool summary vibe The next t-shirt that we also have coming out is this one here. I can't remember the name that we have called it, but it's like, do you know the name of this? The Samurai Vintage Tea. This one here is very, very cool. If you also follow Cocaine on Instagram, how I actually did a little bit of like a behind the scene process of how we came up with the final design for this. There was like a few little adjustments you had to make and I reckon this turned out really, really well. Then we have this t-shirt right here, which is a very, very first for cocaine. It's the cocaine, I think, ransom t-shirt, I think it's called. But this is the first time in, I think, what, six years that it actually said the word cocaine right there. Usually we have our Japanese translation and we're trying to slowly bring this back, but it's not like so in your face with it because of the design. So I think this one is really, really cool. It's like a new movement and new way we're going with this. And then, this has got to be one of my favorite t-shirts. I actually have the black one, which I took the black sample home, but is this one. I forgot the name of it, but it's like a new little mascot type of cat thing. It comes in black and white. As I said, I took the black one, so I can't show you that one. That's but this called one the by Cocaine. Nico by Cocaine. Oh, I really like the name of that one. So this t-shirt's coming out. So summery, so nice, so easy to wear with everything. We've also got some basketball shorts coming out. So these are very, very simple. I feel like a lot of guys are gonna like these. They're not simple, but they're very cool and just easy to wear, perfect for summer. Comes with the drawstrings, two side pockets, logo at the front, which is embroidered. I actually never noticed that, but you guys probably would have seen this in one of our sample videos. I think there's a few little different alterations that were made. And we've also got the Parfu tracksuit pants. So we have, are releasing one pair of pants, but that's just to wear like with a t-shirt or a crop t-shirt or whatnot, just because we're also from Melbourne. So sometimes in summer, I've heard this summer is gonna be very, very wet. You're not always gonna be wearing shorts. Some people still like to wear pants. So we've got this option of these tracksuit pants and it comes with like the like rolled bottom hem. And these are just a puff print, which you look closely, it just like it's kind of 3d slash puff which is why it's called puffy which i really really like the name of this one so yeah i'm excited about this
And then last but not least for the collection of our summer collection, we have the kimono. Now this is the updated new version because da -da -da -da, we have the blossom kimono releasing, which I think this is a perfect addition for summer because you can wear either a t-shirt underneath or if it, on hotter days or if it's colder at night you want to wear it out you can wear like a long sleeve or whatever but this is the close-up the detailing of it it's so 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 nice and everyone loved the kimono last time so hopefully you guys are gonna love this blossom version because i know everyone loves blossoms with her again so yeah this is releasing all tomorrow on which is thursday 2nd of december at 6 p.m australian australian eastern daylight time Anyways, I think we're going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys want to see from us because I'm really struggling with the videos these days. But Christmas is coming up, so hopefully more Christmas, Christmas content coming very, very soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys on Saturday. Bye, guys.